Oh, what is this? Cause 500 HP of damage in a battle, cause damage to 3 vehicles in a battle, cause 7 critical hits. Hmm, sounds interesting. But what is this shiny icon over here? And why do you have 0 out of 30 over here progression points? So many questions and no answers. I get it, guys. Battle pass here, battle pass there. Just what you think about battle pass, uh, uh, how it looks like. Can you show us some battle pass action from the update 1.8 test server? Yes, of course I can, ladies and gentlemen, my friends, I am here for you. I am on the update 1.8 test server, which is going to introduce something called Battle Pass, which is actually really, really interesting, in my opinion, because people are able to get many valuable rewards and prizes uh, simply by playing the game. Uh, to participate, um, you are only able to get points with tier 6 to tier 10 vehicles in random battles except grand battles so grand battles are not part of this and in today's episode i am going to take a look at this battle pass system what it has to offer and and so on how it works in the garage at least so i want to get my hands on action now i haven't played any battles so my progression is zero all the numbers you are going to see is zero as well just um, let's just take a look at it let's just dive into it now the first time you click on this button over here now you're actually going to see a print screen which i'm going to show you right now battle pass season one so what battle pass is all about for three months a fight in tier 6 to tier 10 vehicles in random battles except for grand battles and earn points for being among the top players on your team by experience earned. The more points you earn, the faster your progression in completed stages is. Each completed stage will earn you rewards. Nice. So two reward tracks. So we have two reward tracks, uh, what I'm going to show you in a moment. Uh, all players will receive rewards for reaching new stages, a 3D style. Bounty equipment, customization elements and much more. Bonds, credits, stuff like that. And some premium time as well, as far as I know. By purchasing the improved pass, you will receive the rewards for both reward tracks. Elite progression. After completing stage 20, so all the um, like first stages, you will get access to the elite progression where you will need to earn points according to the same rule. At the beginning of the elite progression, you will receive a badge that will display your current stage. The badge will be removed at the end of the season. By the way, this badge is the first, um, how do they call it, dynamic badge. The number is going to switch all the time. So if you activate this badge, uh, you do not have to touch it again. The number, the elite status number always is going to change automatically while you jump um, in, around in the battlefield. Okay, so let's have a look at this season, one called Super Conk vs. 277. As far as I know, as far as I understood, every single season there are going to have like different special vehicles. This time Super Conk uh, vs. 277 with special commanders and special styles at the end of the event, but you only have to choose one of the commanders and one style um, as final reward. Uh, more about that in a moment. So we have two we have two reward lines over here, based rewards and improved rewards. Improved rewards uh, progression is locked for me at the moment. So for that, I have to buy it. I have to spend some gold. Okay. And by the way, all those rewards are just placeholders for now. Of course, those rewards are going to change um, like 100 gold. Even farting is more expensive than 100 gold in this game. So just keep in mind, everything is a placeholder at the moment. But uh, over here we have something really, really interesting. Bounty gun laying drive. So this is the new bounty equipment here, also introducing with this um, battle pass system. Read the line under there. Upgrading bounty equipment. Uh, you can upgrade the bounty equipment characteristics using in-game currency. This type of equipment can be received as a reward during special game events you can actually upgrade it, because at the moment it is plus 10 to the aiming speed. Let's actually quickly go into the garage, and we can see that the standard gun laying drive, where are you, is plus 10, and the improved gun laying drive is plus 12.5%. Uh, how much you're able to upgrade it, I am not sure at the moment, so please, uh, pardon me. 
Uh, we have many different stages uh, up to 20. Then the elite progression starts uh, from uh, level 1 to level 50. Yes, and once again, uh, all of those rewards over here are placeholders. So most likely, the elite progression is indeed going to be um, is going to give you some extra bonds, but not one and five as the final reward. So those things are going to be tuned now. Um, of course, I would like to get something extra, so uh, what we have to do is we have to purchase the Improved Pass, because Improved Pass actually gives you the second Bounty Rammer as well. Bounty Rammer. <laughs> Kinky stuff. But seems like some of those rewards are actually going to be behind some some Bay Wall, some Gold Wall, unless... Uh, well, we're going to look into it... Uh, Unless there is a way, other ways, how to unlock the improved um, rewards, uh, but I don't know how I feel about that, because the bounty equipment, for example, is brand new in this game, what you're able to uh, upgrade for credits. And uh, the second, I would say, more important rammer, bounty, bounty rammer, is behind the improved rewards. Mm. Anyway, let's test it out. Uh, so let's try to do that uh, right now. Uh, so the first uh, base reward gives you a World of Tanks premium account time. And what is this number over here? Progression points. Uh, by fighting in the tier 6 to tier 10 vehicles in the random battles, um, you will earn points and progress to the new rewards. Okay. Oh, this is the level up. I see. You have to earn 20 points to level up. Okay. Now it makes sense. We are learning together, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, now, if you are in the top three by experience earned, if you are in your team uh, top three list by experience earned, you get seven points for victory and five points with a defeat or a draw. So nice, you do not have to win, you can lose your way to the top as well, actually. Uh, nice. Mm, top ten by experience earned is five points for victory and three points for a defeat. I guess if you are in the bottom five, you do not receive anything. Uh, the core vehicles of the current season earn more points, so the Super Kong earns 3 more points for being among the top 3, the Object 277 earns 1 point for a ranking on any position that rewards you with points. The Object 277 earns 1 point more for ranking on any position that rewards you with points. Ah, okay. So the Super Kong, if you, if you are in the top 3, you get 3 points all the time, so 10 points. Uh, but Object 277 gives you 1 point in any position. If you lose, if you are in the top 10 or top 3, you always get 1 extra point. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Only one of the provided conditions can be, can be completed in battle. You cannot lose points. Nice. Uh, but now, I would like to get the second line. Let's see. Uh, purchase Improved Pass. You can purchase the Improved Pass at any time. It will instantly grant all the rewards, uh, all the Improved Rewards to you for the completed stages. Okay, so let's say I do not have this Improved Pass uh, and I want the way up to level 15. If I buy it, I get all those rewards automatically as a little uh, backtrack. Uh, nice. Let's click on this. Uh, improved Pass provides you with improved rewards for each completed stage. Uh, for now, the price is gold, of course. So, Improved Pass, so you will receive improved rewards for the completing. Yep, we already know that. Purchase. I would wish to see the same price on the live server, guys. But hey, only wish it is going to be. Congratulations, now you will receive both base and improved rewards for completing. Uh, completion of each subsequent stage affirmative and I saw another I saw another purchasing option over here let me see let me see this one purchase stages you will receive the rewards for the number of stages that you would like to purchase really I'm able to buy my way up to level 10 already let's say to get those bounty equipments okay let's try to do that if it works like this Oh, yeah, you're able to do that, guys. Look at this. Okay, so at level 20 you get the style and you get the commander. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay, just for the sake of it, guys, just um, for the testing purposes, let's do... Oh, you get both styles, actually. I thought you have to choose. 
Oh, you have to choose the commander, but you get both styles. I see. So I have to choose the commander. Okay, let's purchase. Let's test it out. Um, render RU01. <laughs> okay. Nice. Placeholder video, guys. Don't you worry. It is just a placeholder. Uh, can I skip it? Render.ru not found. Okay, finally it is over. Uh, season winner selecting. So let's see. Fluffy style. Uh, oh yeah, styles as well. Special styles. In my opinion, this style actually looks quite a meh one. So I am going to play. Uh, I am going to pick Fluffy. Uh, 277. It has a teddy bear actually on the tank as well. So this is the main reason why I'm actually doing it. Players with the improved pass will receive this selected commander and both styles. Oh. Now I see why I received two styles. Okay, so um, if I have if I had improved, I received both styles. Uh, let's pick to Vasily. Vasily Badaev. Vasily Badaev. Idi suda. Ya kavrit paruski ochin harso paruski. Da. What I just said was, I like you. I like your beard. And uh, oh, we got yet another render. Render are you too? It seems to be a bit different one. Just kidding, it is exactly the same, so let's skip. Alrighty, final stage completed. What we did receive uh, was the 3D style Sentry. So the Sentry style for Super Kong, nice special 3D style. Uh, 3D style Fluffy for the Dude 77, nice. Uh, Vasily Badaev, uh, come here. Oh, 6 cents, uh, so 6 cents repair and check for trades. Well, of course, we are going to change it for the Brothers in Arms. Maybe six cents, and maybe something after that. You also received the flying colors, complete the main progression during Battle Pass Season 1. Nice. Uh, so, those bounty equipment units. Uh, this one is really nice. So, uh, you can like make one crew member extremely beasty and premium day, and 4250 credits. Nice. Uh, you can buy half of the 100 and uh, you can buy half of the 183 millimeter hash shell with that money. Affirmative. And uh, it is done. Okay, so now let's see where the bounty equipment is. Bounty equipment is a brand new type of equipment that has the parameters of standard equipment but can be in, uh, can be upgraded to the parameters of improved equipment. Okay, so we can <coughs> improve it ourselves. You cannot purchase bounty equipment for in-game currency, but can receive it as a reward during special events. Affirmative. So I have bounty equipment over here. Uh, let's actually slap it um, just to test it out. Let's up... Wait, what? I just want to mount it first. Okay, T-mount. Yeah, let's T-mount that. Mount. <clears throat> and now let's click on it and upgrade. What is this? Destroy equipment. Oh, this is a nice button. Yeah, let's destroy our new special equipment. So, four credits seems like it. Yes, uh, on the test server the cost is going to be one, but four credits, guys, you are actually able to get yourself a freaking improved equipment unit. You do not have to spend gold for that. Uh, sorry, points for that. Boom, let's do that. Level two. Level two bounty equipment. So, we have two lines over here now. I'm actually quite excited about that. And uh, let's slap uh, Bounty Rammer as well. Oh, wait a minute. Did it say something? Equipment that provides a similar effect. Okay, so I simply have to demo this first. I thought... Oh, let's see. Let's test out what this destroy button does. Destroy. Oh, boom. Crackety crack. It is gone. Didn't even sell it. Or did it sell it? I don't know. Anyway, Bounty Rammer. Let's upgrade it first. Because this is what it said us to do. And mount. Boom. Just like that. 12.5 seconds off. Uh, sorry, percent off from the reload time. Better than the standard one. <clears throat> and you're able to get it from this event. And uh, now let's see this special commander as well. Where are you hiding? Uh, special Commander, Vasily, Battle Pass Season 1, Recruit. Oh, okay, so it is locked only for the uh, Soviet tanks, and I guess the other one is locked for the uh, British vehicles. So once again, nice that we are testing it over here on the test server. I actually didn't know that before. Uh, did they say it anywhere? Uh, so just um, before you pick a Commander, 
just think about which vehicle, which nation, either British or Soviet tanks need this Vasily, uh, but you are able to use it on uh, all the vehicle classes, and it is a special, special commander, so 277, 277, let's slap you on the 277, just like this. Uh, what else? Uh, what else can we see about this one? So battle pass, every single stage is completed. Yes, you're able to buy yourself through it uh, for uh, some gold. I don't know what the gold price is going to be. And then you start playing T. Uh, stages in the elite progression once again same story 20 points to level up uh, to level 2 and seems like every single level seems to be oh it is actually increasing so 20 uh, then 21 points you need 41 points in total then 63 points then 86 points okay so it is increasing yeah it is increasing let's see what is the final cap for example to get up to 50 uh, it is slightly under 100 yes 90 points you need 90 points to go from 49 to 50 90 points or if you need to complete i don't know if you need to complete this 50 as well to fully unlock it anyway this is 90 as well all righty uh, final reward so this is what i talked about yep you can preview the styles as well if you want in my opinion as i said like this style it looks like colors are super off is it, is it just me or this camo simply looks ugly? Like the camo net. Maybe I have some graphic settings turned down, but I am not sure, dude. I am not sure. Let's see. Nope. Everything is everything is at ultra. Let's put on extra effects as well. Boom. The fuck is this? Ugly as hell. This one, however. Oh, my tank was moving in the garage. Uh, this one, however, it uh, reminds me more IS-7 now. Yeah, with those smoke grenade, uh, smoke grenade launchers, I guess. And we have a freaking teddy bear. We have a freaking teddy bear. I'm sold. I'm already sold. Fluffy, it is going to be for me. But um, most likely I'm going to pick the uh, battle pass or the improved. Uh, yes, improved rewards as well to get both styles because I would like to get all the styles. So this is how the system is going to work like. Uh, you have to play in uh, random battles and now, oh yeah, one final, one final thing. Uh, those numbers over here, 0 out of 30 means you're able to play uh, 30 battles. You're able to gain points with 30 battles only during one season. Uh, so they just want to make you play with many different vehicles. Um, well, what is this? Uh, rental vehicles? Okay. Uh, let's pick uh, heavy tanks. Let's uh, take a look at his style in the garage and let's uh, fluffy. <laughs> nice name. Fluffy it is. And let's look at this commander as well, even though I would not use it on this vehicle. Let's see. Um, I want to see what is the experience cost for this increase. I think this still counts as a third skill. So first is 40 something, second is 80 something, wasn't it guys? And um, then 168,000. So yeah, it is not like zero skill or maybe you save one slot. Maybe, maybe I might be off, uh, but yeah, commander as well, three skills. Like, I already have so many commanders, I don't even know where to put it. If I am going to pick the British one or the Soviet one, I really do not know where to put it. Anyway, 30 battles, as you can see, over here as well. So you are able to play 30 battles, and you are able to gain points with 30 battles. Uh, so this one gives you, yes, uh, plus one point everywhere, and this one gives you plus three points when you are in the top three. Doesn't matter if with a defeat or with a victory anyway this is battle pass coming with update 1.8 1.8 is actually not super far away so i'm looking forward to it uh, it is um, a simple nice way to get some extra stuff uh, simply by playing the game uh, one thing i do not agree with is uh, them locking this rare bounty equipment behind seems like what is going to be a paywall unless you're able to unlock it uh, in some other way but i do not see it Improved rewards, uh, yes, you can increase by purchasing a 
it and uh, yeah no other ways to unlock it or maybe i missed it you can improve your rewards main screen by clicking on the purchase yeah uh, like i don't i don't know i this is a bit uh, bad thing um, like what would be even better thing is if you complete the space rewards uh, if you don't have the improved ones uh, give players options to start it all over again in the improved rewards list for example so people can grab the second bounty equipment as well and the second style as well for free they simply have to play more but it is for free i don't know let me know what you think about this one and then they can start grinding some bonds just an idea or make it available for credits as well a lot of credits might save some hate anyway ladies and gentlemen this was my overview about the Battle Pass. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. And I catch you next time with something else. Stay tuned, stay awesome, stay sexy as always, of course. And goodbye.